Hello guys, this is Prosol Play and now it is time to discuss one of the most important ship in the game Infinite Lagrange. It will be Cas 66 generic cruiser. Not everybody likes this ship, but everybody has this ship in its fleet. So I will tell you what Cas can do and what cars cannot do. First of all, we need to look at this cruiser more close. So, what we can see? There are very many figures there, but I will try to tell you the most important. First of all, you can see hit points. It's about 50,000 hit points of CAS cruiser and CAS also has 50 armor. It is not very good armor but uh, it is better than it can be. First of all you need to understand that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 subsystem in this ship. You can improve only 4 of them. Armor propulsion and torpedo system and standard integrated battery. You cannot improve command system and energy system for now. First of all let's look to the armor system. In armor system we have some upgrades. The most important are increase physical resistance by 30 Let's take it, enhance, and increase ship hit point by 10%. It's also critically important. Let's take all four critical enhancements. Well, I cannot take another one because ship level is only 20. So, I will teach you how to improve it. Enhance, upgrade blueprint. And now you can see the total experience of this ship model. Now I have 20 and we need 21. So, I use special chip. And now I may use which chip I want. For example, this one. But I want this. 21 level. And now we can to take the last enhancements. Yes. Now our ship has 60,000 hit points and 110 armor. You can ask me why do we need to improve armor? Let's see. What will happen if one cast cruiser fires to another one? Let's look on generic battery system. Damage per hit is only 40. So all the damage will uh, be cancelled by your armor. Look at anti-ship cannon. Damage per hit is 300. So if you have only basic armor, you will take 250 damage and with all improvements you will take much less damage than in basic complication. So our cast cruiser is uh, good enough as tank because it takes its place in front row so it's ideal tank for cruiser fleets and I have told you that I think that only cruiser fleets are important in these games so you need know to build destroyers, frigates and so on and heavy battle cruisers are good but uh, you may not have it at all well let's see how can we improve our uh, propulsion system. 
we can cancel the improvement of armor and let's look on the propulsion system now we can see only two kind of improvements uh, they are also very cheap increases warp speed and increases cruising speeds so let's see the difference uh, let's see here is my base in which i have one cast cruiser and uh, here is our destination. Let's transfer our cruisers to this destination. Cast cruiser. It takes 2 hours with 11 minutes. And we will use also warp move and cruiser move. So let's improve our warp speed. Propulsion system increase VAR speed by 30% total. Well, what we can see now if we want to transfer our cast cruiser to this destination, it takes less than two hours. It is very good if you need to move your fleet quickly to some destination maybe for assault maybe for defense your base and so on well let's uh, change something we can see our cast cruiser propulsion system we cancel warp enhancement and we increase cruising speed two times and var speed one times uh, so what we will see cast cruiser so it takes one hour and 47 minutes so the economy is uh, very critical for some situations so i highly recommend you to use warp and uh, cruiser enhancement for cast cruisers in situ in some situation uh, all this enhancement take uh, in action only after your cruiser will be docked in base so you cannot uh, do anything when your fleet and when your cast is in the space it's uh, important don't forget it well uh, we cancel these enhancements and see to the weapon system because everyone like weapon system uh, weapon system uh, generic battery system what it can do it can hit Corvette, fighter, destroyer and frigate. It cannot attack big ship. Uh, I'm sorry to say it can, but the damage will be very small because of damage per hit is only 40 and armor of any cruiser is more than 50. But we have also anti-ship cannon. Damage per hit is 300 and it can attack destroyer, frigates, carrier, battle cruiser, and cruiser. What can we improve? We can improve cannon damage, we can decrease weapon system cooldown, and uh, some other options. Well, let's see. Increase all cannon damage. Our total damage will increase by. 700 at all uh, if we choose uh, decrease weapon system cooldown total damage will increase in 1200 damage so it is much more effective we can also use anti-aircraft support but i think it's completely unuseful because strategy uh, does not uh, image in battle reports and we cannot evaluate its effectiveness i don't recommend you to use uh, this very strategy and all these enhancements are useless i think now let's see 
our torpedo launching system octafire torpedo launcher its damage per hit is much more it is uh, 420 and it can hit carrier battle cruiser and cruiser so when you are going to the assault of city 2 level a torpedo is not a very important but in late game this uh, weapon system is uh, the best weapon of cast generic cruiser so let's improve it uh, we can use increase all torpedo damage by 10 percent and it's plus uh, 470 and we can decrease weapon system cooldown it looks uh, the same in battery system it is also more effective but we have now some rapid fire strategy it reduces the primary weapons fine duration and cooldown i don't really understand how does it work so you need to use you need to try and decide what is more effective common and simple decrease weapon system cooldown for example like this increase increase and now we have our damage is now 14,000 well now i will uh, teach you another one important thing it is module adjustment many players uh, forget about it and it is very bad let's now try octa fire torpedo launcher module adjustment well uh, we can uh, increase anti-ship damage by 30 percent 30 percent is very good decision for you we need three tags of torpedo or missile type uh, let's see uh, basic torpedo touch space missile cluster touch and antonio standard gamma storm plasma missile set now it will be very tag yes confirm and success we increase three percent damage let's do this again we use rare touches and now yes yeah, success and once more once more and now and now we fail so success rate increased by five percent for our next attempt let's try what well, success rate is 20 percent instead of 15 initial well let's try and now here yeah, success i will not waste your time so let's see what about our damage now we have 15 thousand damage it is possible to increase it to 18,000 damage and i highly recommend you to do this for the late game 